Hello, I'm Disco Bob, and I'm going to show you a little bit more about the physics plugin for DAS Studio 3 that Metaganic and I have been working on. So previously you saw some of the basic uh, elements of our physics plugin and how easy it is to use. This time I'm going to make it a little more fun, uh, show you some more of the scene builder uh, elements that we have. So let's get started by going ahead and creating a brick wall. Uh, earlier I had made a brick wall for a simulation I was doing and then we realized that why go through and manually create it when we can have a preset for it so we've created a few different presets this is one of the fun ones see it's a wall it's very fun uh, okay so a wall by itself isn't all that exciting you hit run and one of the bricks will fall off because it's not stuck to anything at the moment but other than that it just sits there not terribly exciting so let's go ahead and reset that put that wall back I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I want to create a big ball that will come and roll and destroy my wall. All right, piece of cake, go to Scene Builder, create a single element, and change it to Sphere. And I want it to be a little bit bigger, so let's go ahead and do 5. And Mass, I want it to be pretty heavy. I want it to crash through these bricks like they're hardly there. Mass of 5, it'll it'll notice but it's not going to stop the ball. Alright so let's go ahead and select this ball and uh, move it out here. Now I've got the, my ball and I need to crash into the wall but I don't have a way to do that yet. I need to create one more element. I go to scene builder, go to single element and it's going to be a box this time. I'll do a width of 10 and a depth of 10 and Here's the nice thing about our physics plugin. You have two different kinds of collision objects. You have uh, a regular collision object that is subject to gravity and bumping into things, and then you have a static collision object which has zero mass. And when you set mass to zero, I now have a static collision object which is not subject to anything. It's just kind of there. You know, gravity doesn't affect it. Uh, other objects bumping into it doesn't affect it. It just sits there. Um, and causes everything to bounce off of it. So I created my box. I'm going to move it over here and underneath my my ball and then I'm going to rotate it so that when the ball hits it will get sent off heading straight towards my brick wall. I believe yes it will work. And now before I do anything I want to hit update to current locations so that all my objects remember where they're at so that when I hit reset they will always stay they will jump back to this position and now if I hit run my ball will fall down bump into it roll towards the wall and crash right through so we accomplished our mission of destruction and it was very easy just took three objects and a few steps and that is it for this basic tutorial